Amrit Magar, 36, was found guilty of stalking the tennis star and even walked 23 miles to her home before stealing her father's shoe. A man who stalked tennis star Emma Raducanu has reportedly appealed to have a work order removed after he was sentenced last year. Raducanu claimed she felt unsafe when leaving her family home following the ordeal with Amrit Magar, who was found guilty of stalking her between November 1 and December 4 in 2021. A court heard how Magar went to the U.S. Open winner's home in Bromley on three separate occasions, left gifts and even stole her father's shoe. Magar also left a note, stating Radicanu deserved love, alongside a map to tell her he had walked 23 miles from his home in Edgware, to meet her. In December 2021, Magar decorated a tree with Christmas lights and stole a shoe, he believed belonged to the tennis star. Her father Ian saw Magar through a doorbell camera and immediately called the police. Magar, 36, was handed a five-year restraining order and an 18-month community order, which included 200 hours of unpaid work and an eight-week curfew. The Sun reports court documents show he has now applied for the work order to be revoked due to medical reasons. Speaking after he was found guilty, Radicanu said, I feel like my freedom has been taken away from me. I am constantly looking over my shoulder. I feel on edge and worried this could happen again. I don't feel safe in my own home, which is where I should feel safest. British number one Radicanu has endured a difficult few years on the court in the aftermath of the incident, suffering from a series of injuries in 2022. She picked up an ankle injury on the eve of the Australian Open and could not progress past the second round last month, as she was beaten by Coco Gauff. That exit saw her WTA ranking drop to 80th, but she has been handed a wild card for Indian Wells in March, after missed the cut for direct entry. She vowed to focus on her fitness and durability following her early exit in Melbourne. I just have to review the body right now. I've had some niggles in the past few months, and I just need to get that sorted, train, and then we'll see after that, she said. I am feeling good and confident that, in six months' time, I know it's not going to be the finished product, but hopefully I would have made strides. Express Sport has contacted Ministry of Justice for comment.